Tonight, all eyes on Fiona. The hurricane made landfall in the Dominican Republic this morning after unleashing floods and landslides in Puerto Rico and leaving the whole island in the dark. Puerto Rico's governor called the damage catastrophic, and tonight, most families on the island remain without power. We have team coverage on the storm, its aftermath, and how South Florida is already rallying together to help. We begin with NBC6 hurricane specialist John Morales and Fiona's predicted path. John? Hi, uh, Jackie and Dewan. Well, this afternoon I can report that thankfully the core of Fiona is over the ocean. It is north of the Dominican Republic. The eye very evident there on satellite images as it departs that region. At the same time, though, I have the, the other unfortunate news that it will continue to rain very strongly in the Dominican Republic. As a matter of fact, I'll show you why. I mean, we have this area that you're going to see right here. This area of moisture is moving towards the northwest. In other words, as Fiona moves away uh, towards uh, the Atlantic and grazing by the Turks and Caicos Islands, this area that's down here is simply going to start moving basically in the same direction. It's going to move from the Caribbean uh, into the Dominican Republic. Same for Puerto Rico. There's still some bands of moisture that even after 31 inches of rain are still impacting that island, as you can see here on the National Weather Service radar out of Puerto Rico and the Mona Passage with a lot of rain, the eastern section of the Dominican Republic barely with Within range of the uh, Weather Service offices in San Juan's radar, but you can still see how it's already raining there with more precipitation to come. So this hurricane intensified to a 100 mile an hour hurricane this afternoon. Uh, that means that it is now officially a Category 2 hurricane. When it reached the Dominican Republic, it had 85 mile per hour winds, uh, and then it actually ramped up to 90 miles per hour just as it was making landfall. Now 100 miles an hour as it departs that area. Uh, when uh, Puerto Rico saw this system, it was an 80 mile per hour storm. But for Puerto Rico, of course, the biggest problem has been the rain. You're looking at the forecast track as issued at 5 p.m. today by the National Hurricane Center. The Turks and Caicos Islands are under a hurricane warning this afternoon. That is because, of course, they are very close to the cone of concern right there for a Cat 3 hurricane. That's obviously pretty significant, and they need to watch out for its path. But hopefully it will miss them just to the east. And then Bermuda is also potentially uh, a target for this system down the road, even as a Cat 3, 120 to 125 mile per hour hurricane. Thankfully, the United States, and of course, including us, will not have to tangle with this, although Canada might have to towards this weekend.